Hey friends, I am gonna try something today that I have never done before. So, we'll see how it turns out. <laughs> what I'm going to try today that I've never done before is in this soap world referred to as rebatching. I've never rebatched. If I've had a bad batch, I just have gotten rid of it. I didn't use it again. And uh, our soaps are cut into one inch bars, but they're kind of, um, the corners are hard. So I always take just a little vegetable peeler and slide down all of those corners to round them off. Just so the bar feels better in your hand. So I round it off and it feels better. But then I have like buckets, I mean buckets of soap scraps. And what do you do with all this stuff? Well, I used to throw it away, but I'm rethinking that these days. Um, because Corona kind of makes you rethink what you did before. You know, people are talking about um, what first? I heard people say, oh, I want everything to go back to normal. But um, now what I'm seeing is people are saying, we don't want things to be normal like they were before. We want to redefine what our normal is going to be. So we're taking this time to kind of reassess how we did life before Corona and how we want life to be after Corona. And um, so I did the same thing because I, before I would throw a bucket of this away, never think anything else about it. Like that's trash, but I'm rethinking it now. <laughs> so I'm going to attempt a rebatch. Now there's two ways to do soap. It's, um, there's a cold process, which is what I, I usually do. I only do one bar hot process and a hot process. Hot process, of course, requires heat. And uh, it is a crock pot that I use for nothing else except making pine tar soap in. That's all I've ever done in this. So I'm going to attempt to make a rebatch. This is soap that's already been saponified, cold process soap. I'm going to mix it in my crock pot with a little bit of liquid. It's not lye because it's already soap. And um, then after it all melts down, what's supposed to happen, <laughs> it's gonna all melt down. And then um, even though it has like a lot of different colors, some light, some dark, uh, I'm supposed to be able to color it again. It'll come out like looking probably like a gray mush. And um, I haven't decided if I'm gonna go with a pink or I have um, some blues. These are some sample colors that were sent to me. So I'll, I'll try either pink or blue. I have decided what fragrance I wanna use. I've had this fragrance for a while and when I, I tried it, see it's one of those I threw away. <laughs> and when I tried it, it, it just, um, it, it turned a nasty looking color on me. Um, it's called Happy Birthday and it's by Nature's Garden. If you're a soaper, you'll know that. And um, it turned sort of a, a grayish pink, yucky mud color almost. So uh, it didn't look good. Well, I'm thinking if I'm starting with a yucky grayish color to begin with, it's not gonna hurt to use Happy Birthday. And it smells like a birthday cake. If you've ever gotten like a, a snow cone that's Happy Birthday, this smells exactly like that Happy Birthday snow cone or wedding cake, I guess. It's a real, it's a cake fragrance. And I'll put enough color in it to, I hope, overcome that. Then I'm gonna whip it and uh, whip it up in here just to incorporate some air. 
and maybe it will float. We'll see if it floats or not. So, okay, that's, that's my job for today. Apparently this process takes several hours. So I got all day, might as well, right? And I don't even know how much this is gonna hold. I have, I have almost three pounds of scraps. Um, I'm gonna put a little liquid at the bottom. So I don't know if it'll get everywhere. And the liquid that I'm using just to make it, oh no, one is a bit. <laughs> that almost filled it up. Is um, I did some coconut milk. Okay, maybe I can get two pounds. Let me try to get two pounds in here. Each bucket has a pound of scraps in it, and I've got three buckets here. Oh, wow. Supposedly, my reference says I can do this with three ounces of liquid. I'm doubting that's true, but I'll let you know <laughs> if I have to add more liquid to it. I, I got my crock pot on low, and then I'm gonna add some more of the, the coconut milk. It just doesn't look like enough liquid. Yeah, 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 I don't know. Okay, but I'm afraid if I don't, uh, I can always add more later, but it might be hard to take it away, even though I do have a whole nother bucket <laughs> of scraps, almost a whole full one. So, I don't know. Here, let's, let me just be brave. Let me just put a few more in here. I don't know. Yeah. Hey, what was I gonna do? Throw it away anyway? <laughs> That's obviously got to have a little more liquid here. I'm gonna give it another, just a little bit, just, just like, just a little bit. Okay. This is going to be fun. Of course, I have it set up in the kitchen so I can run in here throughout the day and give it a stir. And uh, we'll see. I've got a couple of molds out just in case. It should fit and all of this should melt down enough to fit into this little three pound mold. And you can get this off Amazon. So, and I think this was like less than $10 on Amazon. We'll see if our rebatch goes. So our plan is melt it down for, I don't know how many hours. I'm thinking it's probably gonna take four to six on low. And uh, then I can put the color in it, whip it up, add my fragrance, pour it in the mold and voila rebatch and then I didn't throw anything away. I wasn't wasteful. So see what Corona taught me? <laughs> hey, tell me what's Corona teaching you to, uh, to be more conservative, to change your normal. Let me know. I'd love to visit with you like that. Hey guys. Oh, I'm, I'm glad you called us too. Thank you. Oh, good, good, Melissa. Oh, well, thanks for watching. Um, this is gonna be a really boring process to, <laughs> to watch. It's like watching paint dry, <laughs> which I would love to have one of my projects over the next few weeks to, to repaint. <laughs> we'll see. And um, I have in the background, I don't know if you can hear, it is, Steve Reese, he's just put out a new video and it is supposed to be calming. It, uh, it's a campfire in his heart. Let me show you just super quick. I'm gonna put the top on this and it's gonna cook. And I wanna show you Steve. 
If you're sitting around the house um, or you just want to take a break and relax a little bit, I always think music is the greatest thing to, to relax. Music just helps the mood. And uh, Steve's Heart music is just some of my favorite, favorite, favorite. You can get that at thecalmingstore.com. And he's on YouTube. Let me show you him. Oh, am I going to make you dizzy? Hang on, hang on. Okay. Is that not so pretty? That's Steve with his harp and a campfire. I love it. It's just beautiful. YouTube. Oh, he has it at the bottom. Oh, it's gonna be backwards for you. The calming, uh, the calming store. So check out Steve and I will tell you how I did with my rebatch, not wasting a thing soap. <laughs> so you guys have a great day and soap yourself happy. Bye. Thanks for watching.